All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another Brave Frontier video. So tonight I shall be doing Maxwell for a friend of mine. Um, I I actually did this um on uh, I believe Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday night. Um, my fault for doing this Saturday night when the servers were unstable and stuff, and there was a bit of drama because Max I I beat Maxwell for him, but then um the servers were took taken down and stuff. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do it again. The servers seem to be very stable now. If there's a connection error, Gummy um, can't really ignore it this time. I even had the screenshot last time of me beating Maxwell. So it was bullcrap that they didn't give it to her. Anyways, let's get started with the squad comp. We've got the Grodden's Liguan Gem. Um, we have Lilith right here with her Divine um, Stone and Refined Gem. Divine Stone's 50% boost to all stats with um, when Brave Burst Gauge is above 50%. Um, that's good for her because obviously it's a good thing. She has instant super brave burst every turn when she gets a super brave burst. Refined gem is just so she doesn't get cursed or anything. As um, our only reliable status protection right here is Melchior with refined gem and Leguan gem. We want him to keep putting up those uh the stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what I mean. And then we have Dendelga Evil Shard, um, Guardian Darwin Shell, 5 BCs every turn, good at attack, output, HP, you know. Uh, we have Rashiel right here, He's he gives us a 45% crit boost, I believe, and he also greatly heals, and gives himself an Angel Idol buff. And then we have a Dreva Sphere, Tyrant Limata. Now, the reason why um, I put Refined Gem on her, and him, is because Steve, I mean, um... Necros does not have um, a unit that can remove debuffs that are given to you um, with a BB or SBB. So, and since Maxwell has a um, rune which completely debuffs a whole one unit and and gives them weakness and injury, I want I don't want them to get you know raped. Anyways, we have four units here that <clears throat> that are immune to statuses. That's good. Well, let's get going. Hello. Hello. Mighty Jigrat. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for this battle, I'm not going to be using a chart I handwritten myself like I did for my battle, personally. I'll be using Brave Frontier Pro's um, tool online, which is um, uh, the, ma the, the touch and swipe thingy. Basically, you click after every turn, you know, it goes to the next turn. It tells you what you should do, tells you what's going to happen. You should start counting from the very first battle, just to be safe. So this is turn one right here. This right now is turn one. Oh god, I don't want the game to crash by accident, so I'm going to turn off my animations real quick. Okay, so we see here, Grodens has been paralyzed. He doesn't use it every turn, but okay, let's turn off battle effects. We do not want it crashing by accident. And I want to get through this quickly. If I use. I can u play with animations on, but it'll take a while since I don't want it to crash. Alright, so. Okay. Now we're on third turn. Always remember to finish a turn. Let them finish attacking, and then mark the next turn. That is the way to success. Uh, do you think it doesn't do RSS? He doesn't, Crystal. But you gotta count from the very first turn, or you're gonna be screwed when you get to Maxwell. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Right, this is Gravitron right here. We should be good for now with Grodden's Paralyzed, uh... He, he's fine. He's not. He's not going to be doing anything much, anyways. Neoplasma blast. I, I realize um, that previously, when I would tell people about Maxwell battle, I would call it Neotoplasma blast. I don't know why I did that, but. Uh, yeah, you guys don't care? Oh, okay. Sheena! <laughs> Alright. Remember to I cast Lily. Hmm. You need to do it soon. 
Anyways, guys, remember to cast Lily Mata's Brave Burst or Super Brave Burst every three turns. I'm only doing it constantly because I don't like counting how many turns I've, since I've used her thing. That's why I'm using this tool right here. Um, as a side note, I'm my services to beat Maxwell are open. I, just not to everyone, though. That's the thing. I, what's required, really, in my opinion, is you have to have the units that are that can do it, right? Because I'm not going to waste my time just to lose. I want to be sure that I can win. If you have the units that can do it, like this team right here, it's not even the units you need. Not all the required units, but I can do it, and I'm. That's why I'm willing to do it for him. I mean, let's be honest. I probably wouldn't have offered to help him had he not had have had the units that could do it. No offense, I mean, I, I'd love to help you, bro, but, you know, just... If you didn't have the units, it just, the, the connect would have been, wouldn't have been there. So, hit me up if you do need Maxwell beaten and you can't do it yourself. Or you just don't have the skill to do it yourself. Um, make sure that before you ask me to do it, you have the units you need. Like, you have to be able to prove to me that you have the units and stuff. Um, that's something. Gosh darn it. People need to stop texting me. Anyways, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, Maxwell. I'll do it for her, but the requirements do it, do her for you. I'll, I'll beat her for you, but the requirements are that you can't, you do have the units that can beat her, and, um... You can't beat her if you're a beginner. Shush. You give me the appropriate amount of time to beat her. I will not go and, and spend, like, instantly beat her for you, because I'm, I'm not asking for any compensation for this, you know, I'm just... Being a bro and helping out people if you need it. Maybe? You're my sister! <laughs> Shush. Alright, this is turn nine. But yeah, that's generally how it's gonna happen. If you if you do need him beat he if you do need to beat Maxwell and are unable to do it yourself, then just comment here or Look me up on Facebook. I have a Zell Knight picture as my profile pic. Uh, anyways, let's continue. I noticed that um, I haven't said much about the actual battles themselves. I've just been barreling through. Juggernaut has a fourth turn AOE um, ultimate thing. Neoplasma Blast. That's what I was talking about earlier when I called it Neotoplasma Blast or something. Yeah. Anyways... That oh, I didn't need to do that. Whatever. Anyways, that right there is, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. That's, um, that's a large damage thing. Juggernaut does indeed hit very hard, so you want to have damage mitigation up or guard in those turns. Abaddon, as well, has a four-turn attack pattern with his AoE. Evil Hole is the, um, fourth-turn attack he will do on everybody. Uh... Also, be conservative when you're using your Brave Burst, because Abaddon does not spam AoE attacks as often as Juggernaut does. So, keep that in mind. AoE, it stands for Area of Effect. Shoot. Turn 11. This is turn 11. I'm gonna go with turn 11. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll get back on track when he does Evil Hole, but I'm pretty sure it's turn 11. Anyways, he also debuffs your units and removes your current buffs as well. Because he's Abaddon and he can do whatever he wants. <clears throat> now, shush, shush. Now, at 50% and 30%, you're going to have to watch out for um, Abaddon because he'll have... Okay, this is 12th turn right here. See, I missed a turn. Um, he has uh, an ultimate attack, for both at 50 and 30%. 
On those turns, you want to have damage mitigate and guard every but all but one or two units. I'm only going to have to guard all but Darvin Shell and Lilith because Darvin Shell will be using damage mitigation and Lilith will use her super brave burst and we'll hope she doesn't die when we get to that part. But we're not there yet, so let's continue the battle. We're on turn 13 now. I'm going to periodically um, yell out the turn to myself because I don't want to forget like I did just now when I'm talking to you guys. Um, I tend to not do what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Alright, we're nearing the 50% mark right here. 50% is like right there. It's really hard to miss. 30% will be between the N and the A. You'll see me freak out about it when we get there. Um, also, another tip is to generally be careful as you're near, as you pass the 50% mark and nearing the 30% mark, because you're so close together, and if you overshoot the A and the N, like right there, you will be in big trouble. <clears throat> so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a little bit super brave burst. See how far we can get it before. Alright, we're gonna use Melchio. We're gonna use Graw. And pretty sure that with this much uh, let's just attack with our shield. No, we'll be fine if we just attack with everybody's right now. I'm pretty sure that next turn I will be able to break Death Gate and be just fine. Also, Rashil is a very good healer at this point. You see how much damage he's doing to us. We don't want our health this low when we're going into Death Gate. With Rashil's um Angel Idol oh, one second. Angel idle effect on his super brave burst. He shall be able to survive Death Gate if he does indeed get targeted. So, we'll want to live stream. Guard everyone else. Use Darwin Shell and Lilith. Try to spark so you can guarantee to um, pass the. Well, they didn't spark at all. It, I'm horrible at sparking these units that I've never used before. <laughs> Alright, you see Death Gate, he's. Generally hope he doesn't focus target one or two units. This is good. He didn't focus target too many, but um, Incoming when we get to a he'll start doing that more often All right, so I'm Going at a good pace here paste <laughs> Paste we're going at a good pace everyone <laughs> All right, um Okay, doing pretty good Using Evil Hold. That's very good. I need my Brave Burst back up right now. So, we're gonna do like we did earlier. Um, I don't think anyone's been debuffed yet. So, Lilith. Neltia. Also, you generally don't want to use any items beforehand. Um, it's just generally not really necessary. Alright, I'm gonna Rashiel it up. Oh wait, he just used Evil Hulk. So see, I gotta remember to count the turns. If I don't remember to count the turns, it's gonna be very, very bad for me. I was gonna use Black Force. Alright, we're gonna do it just like last time. Okay. Rashiel. Guard, guard. Did I do Lilith or Darwin Shell first last time? Let's do Lilith first this time. And then Darwin Shell. There, there was a little spark right there. We jumped past the end completely. That's good. Alright, Noel's gonna have a little cutscene. So you're interested after all, we'll hurry up and come prepared. Death Gate. Alright. Okay, so he's mainly hitting Rashiel right now. Right, as you see, his Angel Idol buff helped him survive. That was good. That was I, I didn't want that to happen, but it went as planned just in case he was gonna die. So it's good. So turn 18 is done and over with him. Turn 19. Alright, we're just gonna go out of the regular pattern. I don't wanna start Max Wall's battles too soon because if I start on turn 20, she's gonna screw me over really big. Big time. I wanna have at least four turns to knock her down far enough without having to deal with sacred song buffs. Alright, so as we're nearing um, this next section, I want to generally start Maxwell's battle on turn 1 so that I'll have 
complete four turns before three turns really before Maxwell starts ha hammering me with hard hits. With this squad, I'm pretty sure I can pass um uh, pass the auto battle segment part for Maxwell before she casts Sacred Song. But you know, can't be too sure. Okay, go have strawberries, little girl. So yeah, we're gonna try not to hit too hard here. Okay, you better. Alright, this is Evil Hole coming up right now. Also, I didn't actually talk about it earlier, but... Required units. Um, yes, we're gonna want to talk about that. You want to bring healers. You want to bring damage mitigation. You want to bring Grodins. And Lily Mata, unless you have a Narza. Which makes things even easier for you. Anyways. You want... The reason why you want these things is because... Damage mitigation will help cut down the damage that Destiny, um, Maxwell's AoE attack, I mean not AoE, uh, Maxwell's single target 14,000 damage, um, attack, oh shoot, will do to, um, I didn't mean to guard, what did I, why did I guard, will do to a unit, so damage mitigation on top of guarding will cut that 14,000 damage down, by a great amount. Oh, I'm on turn two. Darn it. And I don't want to start on de Ah, whatever. Let's just go into it. I, I didn't mean to do that. I was meaning to break through his... Uh, I don't know. I was just talking and I got caught up in the moment. I was planning to break through Abaddon in turn two and get to Maxwell before Sacred Song, but that's not happening. Um, anyways... You want damage mitigation, generally, because of that reason, and plus it helps on her normal turns when she spams Genesis, etc. Um, guarding does indeed have the same effect, however, guarding means less turns to attack, it also means a longer battle. And you don't want to prolong this battle too much because, for, well, for obvious reasons. You see, there's a Genesis AoE. You'll generally have an easy time of spamming your BBs as long as you have a Lily Matal lead. And, um, stuff. You also want status negation, but if you have an Altree as a healer, he can double up as that. Grodens is there for the 20% buff to all stats and the 15% reduction from dark and light damage. You also want, obviously, massive damagers or attackers, much like Lilith and Rogan. And, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it, Lorand or Logan, because you want to break her, sa um, her sacred song loop at the end of the battle. You'll see what I mean when we get to turn 4 by Sacred Song Loop. So, you also, generally you don't want to play it risky, just spam your healer if they can get it. If any of your units are below, um, below 6k. Alright, you see, that, um, I should be able to... Last time I fought Maxwell for um, Necros, I was able to bring beat her within two cycles. That's pretty fast. Um, with, when I fought her personally, it took me two hours, um, o over twice, over double the time it took me to beat, um, beat triple the time. It's triple the time it took me to beat, um, beat Maxwell for Necros because I didn't have Darvin Shell or Lilith, and I had to. It was also my first time fighting Maxwell, like, seriously. Watching videos and fighting her, it's completely different. So, don't think that everything I'm doing right now will go the exact same way for you. <clears throat> okay, so this is your Sacred Song and Rune turn. Um, on this turn, you do not want to damage and mitigate at all. Because she can remove the buff from one unit, and depending on... Uh what happened that can be very very bad for you sacred song and rune sacred song is the buff to her you know attack um three turns attack two turns ignore defense and angel idol buff um yeah anyways and the next turn is going to be destiny so oh was i called oh coming all right yeah Okay. 
Okay, so we just survived the first sacred song in Rune. It's not a big deal, generally. <laughs> oh crap. I'm gonna. One second. This is fifth turn. Fifth turn. Crystal, medicine. Now, fifth turn, she's gonna be doing destiny. Every four turns, sacred song, rune. Every fifth turn, destiny. This means, unfortunately, on the 20th turn, she will do both. Well, three, all three, technically. Okay, so on this second turn, immediately after she casts Sacred Song and Rune, I generally like guarding my dark units because she still does have ignore defense, and she still does more damage to dark units. So there's her destiny right there. You saw it for yourself. Saw it with your own eyes. It's nothing too harrowing as long as you have damage mitigation and guard. Generally, when I fought her, I guarded and damage mitigated on Destiny just to make sure I had a lot of health. Um, here, here's your medicine. Okay. Okay, so now we're on sixth turn. The turns in between Sacred Song and Rune, you want to do as much damage as possible. Also, make sure you watch out for her 70%, 50%, and 30%. I will warn you guys when I get near them. Okay. So... Okay, I'll clean it up. Just give me a sec. I think I might stay down here. <sighs> okay. So, we're on sixth turn. This is twice Lilith has been brought down this far. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm I think I'm doing pretty good on time. Um, yeah, it's only been 20 minutes and we're already, already this far into Maxwell. See, if I started exactly on first turn, I would have broken the auto battle, the auto battle mark far before this. <laughs> All right. Anyways, where was I? Um, in between giving my sister medicine and stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I think I've speaking, spoken about most of what we need to worry about. I'll get to the um, the sacred song loop at the end when we hit it, because you will hit it. See how she has an angel idol buff right here? She's going to revive 100,000 HP when she dies. That sounds bad, I know it does. And um, if you don't kill her in time after she does that, she's going to do it again. And again. And again. It's totally dependent on how many turns you have before the next... Um, Sacred Song, or Rune, and Rune, the next Sacred Song loop, um, attack, because that's when she decides to do it. Alright, so we got Grodens. I should probably start doing Grodens first so I can buff the Dark Element damage. Okay, and Lilimata, you can attack with her if you'd like, however, I suggest you just guard her when you're not using her Brave Burst. I know this whole time I've been using her to attack normally, but you, you just discard her. Trust me. She's going to be very important, as will Graw be. Because without Graw, I won't be doing this much damage to her every single turn. I mean, have you seen how many turns I've attacked? And I've already done that much damage. This much damage was done to her with my team in like, um, I don't know, the equivalent of how long this video has been. And don't get me started on how long Abaddon and Juggernaut took me to beat. I didn't have the optimal team at all, but I was able to do it. I had, uh, what, a Grodens, um, I had Lorand and Logan. That's the reason why I mentioned those two when I said uh, massive damagers. Uh, okay, this is a Sacred Song and Rune turn. Okay, so looking at their HPs, Graw is just really easy for, to lose Graw. Anyways, back to my team. Sorry, I sound really conceited. Uh, of course, she's going for Matt Lilith, oh my god. I had Logan, I had, um, Grodens, I had Lorand, I had Altri, and Olu. Not at all did I have that many attackers, I only had three attackers. Three attackers! But they were massive damagers, and they had quick BB fills, so I was able to break the loop pretty easily. Um, the loop, I, I swear I will get to it, but... Just for right now, just not worry about that, okay? Because... Anyways, we're nearing the 70% mark. The 70% mark is right between the very right of Guardian Darvin Shell's picture 
and the very left of the G in his name. At 70%, Maxwell does an attack called Meteor on several of your units. What Meteor does is it's basically um, a weaker destiny. Does 6k fixed damage on several of your units. Um, it'll be easy if you just mitigate. After the, after the first um, trigger, she will um, continue doing this every... Uh, what you would call it? Oh, randomly, yeah. Meteor, you see, as you see, it's not that big of a deal. Ah, it's nothing that you can't live. <sighs> you guys. Okay. I find that I'm doing Maxwell the way I am now. It's very easy and not as nerve-wracking as when I did it at first. Okay, so this is a destiny turn, turn 10. Um, this is also the second cycle, so you could call that turn 30, if you'd like. Now, you see destiny added on with the guard does barely anything to you. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Also, some tips when bringing Lorand. Again, shout out to my old man, Lorand. Lorando. <laughs> um... Um, one thing you want to take note of is that he can um, indeed injure Maxwell. This is actually very helpful in several cases. People don't realize it, that it would be as helpful as it really is. But... Alright, so also one thing with Melchio and Lily Mata. Melchio's Super Brave Burst um, stacks with Lily Mata's thing, and it also it registers as an attack on your own units when he uses Super Brave Burst. So that's a good thing to remember if you ever need a, an emergency thing. Probably didn't need to use that right now. Genesis is um, also Genesis. She should only spam it about two or three times per turn. She casts it randomly, of course, but um, she's generally good at doing it about two times a turn. Uh, I think the first time I fought Maxwell for my friend, she did it five times. I, I just went, what? That's not supposed to happen. But it did. Alright, so here we are at another Rune and Sacred Song turn. My, my, these turns go by really quick, don't they? So, I probably should have used the Cure on Grodens, but it won't matter. As long as she doesn't target him. There. Okay. The reason why- Oh god, she used Genesis twice? Wow. The reason why um I'd like her to target one of the four at the bottom is because she can't injure and weaken them. So that's that's a plus. It's a plus. I'm glad the person who with this Lily Mata has a Drevas sphere. So she won't be in as much danger as my friend's Lily Mata's was. <laughs> also, side note, um when considering units for the um, Maxwell trial, don't worry about types as long as it's got an HP boost. Because Guardian, Breaker, Anima, doesn't really matter. Defense doesn't matter at all. So Breaker, I would recommend more than Guardian for this trial, since you want to milk out that damage. You just want to milk out that damage. Right, this is turn um, technically 33, but it's really turn 13 on the chart. It, it just recycles itself. After 20, it goes back to 1, like it's supposed to, if you don't want to confuse yourself. Anyways, let us continue without me speaking too much. I probably could have already gotten to Endless if I don't talk too much. Okay, so she's doing Meteor again. This is a sooner than expected. But then again, it's random, so I can't really expect it, honestly. <laughs> I'm laughing awkwardly very often, aren't I? Please hit Rashiel. I'm gonna have to pop a, po a cure here, aren't I? Yeah, I'm not the pop a cure. Okay, now the animation when I'm opening up items in Brave Verse is starting to lag. I'm, I'm noticing these things, gummy. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me not beat Maxwell again. Well, here's some news for you. I'm gonna do it anyways. Yep, there's a, there is a very noticeable lag between that. Okay. We're hitting 50% here. I think we're going to break 50%. Yeah, we're going to break 50%. What she does at 50% is an, an AoE attack called Resurrection. 
She's gonna have a little dialogue sequence here. She's just like, ha ha, insolent creature, kill you. Foolish human, ruin, resurrection. And then she follows up with Genesis, as I ex expected, honestly. I love it when she uses Genesis a lot. I don't love it when my units are low on health. <sighs> Did I ever mention why Lily Mata is so key to this battle? No? Well, it's her BB regen. You notice how um, I'm generally having Super Brave Burst and regular Brave Burst up every turn, reg regardless, even though this is, even though it's just a single enemy. Well, her um, leader skill and Brave Burst and Super Brave Burst is full utility meant to fill up your Brave Burst while you get attacked. While you get attacked. So um, it's really good for. Oh God. Really good for these type of situations. Anyways, here's turn 35, Destiny. So we're gonna Darwin shell it up. Um, I'm uncomfortable, quite uncomfortable with how low the health of my units are, so I'm gonna guard everybody and use our shield for um, the healing. As we saw with Deathgate back, um, back in Abaddon, our shield would have been just fine if he got hit with Deathgate and with um, Destiny. Now his Angel Idol buff will be much more substantial come uh, uh, come past turn um, past 30 percent because she begins casting destiny twice which means um, you're screwed if you don't mitigate and guard so here's the sacred song and rune okay so she runes Darvin shell that's not bad okay I'm gonna have to put up Lily Mata's um, super brave burst after this turn Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. This is not good at all. I doubt I can get, um, uh, I doubt I can get Rashiel to fill up his Brave Burst in time. Do I, do I want to pop a Fujin? Hmm. I want to save all my revives for Endless. Last time I did this, um, Endless didn't kill anybody, but I just want to be safe just in case. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna use Lilimata Super Brave Burst. Yeah, there's the notice. You guys are noticing the the slight lag between this and uh, the animation. You see, see, it activates the animation and then it does that. All right, so this is a turn turn thirty turn thirty seven. Uh, there we go. Getting that damage mitigation up. So it's like I'm. Guarding, technically. Okay, we're at 32 minutes. We're doing pretty good. I'm probably taking a little bit longer because I'm more thoroughly explaining it. Last time I was just like, I explained it all at the beginning and then you just jump right into it. Hmm. Alright, she's targeting Lily Mata more frequently now. Aggressively, should I say. Okay, so um, here's one thing about turn 20. Um... She will use Sacred Song, Rune, and um, Destiny all at once. You want to damage mitigate on there. Even though I've said multiple times, DON'T DO IT! You still want to do it. Because, um... Destiny. It'll rape you if you don't. Like, that's not even a joke. Destiny will rape you. If you don't. See, had I not chosen to turn off the animations at the beginning of, the, of Juggernaut's battle, that lag, um, it would crash my phone <laughs> so much. Like, I wouldn't even get spark damage, like, spark. I wouldn't benefit from sparks at all in this scenario. I would have to, like, wait just for one unit to finish attacking before I can do the next, or it'll crash. That's just how bad the lag is right now between the anim um, between my swipe and the animation. Okay, so, turn 19. Uh, also, you might be wondering why I'm bringing irregular cures that cure for about, what, a thousand... Or not, what not. You see, the reason why I'm bringing those is that when I don't want to use any healing at all, just want to guard everybody to ensure survival, I generally just use that. See? Oh, hey, that's a nice heal. Anyways, I want to save Darvin Shell's Super Brave, I mean Brave Burst, for turn 20. Um, so here we go. We're going to break 30% pretty soon. Oh, wow, wonderful crit. Oh, man, the lag is so real. 
Oh. I'm pretty sure we just broke 30%. When you hit the... Mark. Okay, so... Oh, God. Oh, God, I forgot Meteor was in a... Uh, no, don't. Don't you dare. You whore. Oh, you whore. You whore of all whores. <sighs> I'm just gonna let him um, stay dead until after turn 20 so that I can revive him. Because obviously I'm not gonna use Rashiel on turn 20. So everybody's gonna be guarded. Darvin Shell's gonna be in risk. I can actually keep Ma um, Gra dead until like the end, but it would take far too long since I'm only doing so much damage because of his. Oh, you see, she did Destiny twice right there. I'm only doing so much damage because of his little um routine here. Oh, crap! I didn't mean to press revive light. Okay. Luckily for me, on turn 20, she just does those two things and doesn't do much after that. Okay, so we're nearing Endless, so we're going to want to be careful. Endless is her 20, 20%, 20% HP trigger AoE. Endless will rape you, unfortunately. That's why I wanted to save my revives, but that didn't happen, so... Okay. Uh, let's see. What am I gonna do here? Well, obviously I'm gonna use my shields. Um, super oh my god, the lag is killing me. All right, we're gonna see how much it heals Grodden's for. I'm gonna guard that guy. Use Lily Mattel's thing because I in in sore need of the regen. Um, I think I should be fine. I shouldn't break the C yet. We'll see how that happens in a also a tip if you want to do endless um you can indeed activate it the turn of sacred song or rune if you'd like okay so this is actually um she's just she just talks nothing happens there don't worry about it <sighs> mm. all right Hopefully the servers are all well. I don't think the servers should be down. If the servers are down, that's complete bullcrap. Sorry, I'm playing with the case on my phone if you're hearing some noise right now. Okay, so now we're on turn two. Alright, so what I'm going to do is this. Mm, oh my god, this is killing me. Not literally. Okay. Try not to hit the C. As soon as you hit the C, you're undutably screwed. Alright, yeah, we're good. You also want very high health for endless sequence. You will notice that when I get break endless, the units that have oh, that are only under Darwin Shell's mitigation will generally take more damage than the ones that aren't. I guess. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to activate this um, endless on the net on the turn after this turn. So. Alright, she genesis me. Also, a tip, um, Rashiel will be okay here to heal everybody, since he does have the Angel Idol buff at Super Brave Burst. So if he gets slammed by Endless, he'll be just fine and dandy. And as you can see, since I prolonged the turn, she's done more damage to me, so I do want her to not... Okay, actually, let me see, do I have the Dark Element buff? Oh man, no Dark Element. Oh, I think Graw's gonna die again, guys. I think Graw's dying again. 
Eh, it doesn't matter. I still have two revive lights, and after this, I won't really have to worry about reviving too much. So you shall see that in activating Endless on this turn, she will not use Sacred Song or Rune. Okay, I'm good. I understand now the ones who shouldn't be destroyed who should be destroyed aren't the humans, but the pesky summoners who threaten the existence of gods. Well then. Alright, here's Endless. You see the units that did not guard are taking more damage. Oh my god. Whoa! Dude! Ah, clutch. Okay, um, I'm probably only gonna have one more Fujin after this. Yeah, I'm only gonna have one more Fujin. Alright, it's Destiny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Chris. Oh, we've almost beaten her. We're actually only getting to, like... Oh my god, now Graz got weakness. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen to him. Oh god. This is Destiny. You okay? You took your medicine, right? Mm. Destiny right here. Okay. Wow, she slammed Darwin Shell pretty hard with that. Mm -hmm. What? Don't do that when you're sick. Just a pinch. I don't care. No sugar when you're sick. I did that yesterday. I was okay. So, that was yesterday. Oh, I forgot there's that small lag. I could have attacked with him by accident and completely screwed myself over there. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, I should be fine. You guys know what I'm referring to. The low HP. It's it's really killing me. Not literally, but so after this, there's no a any um, HP triggers you have to worry about. Only thing left to worry about is the endless revival cycle. Yeah, uh, just what she said right there. <clears throat> now, in breaking the sacred song loop. The things you want to do is to kill her on the turn right after Sacred Song and Rune. And uh, you, you'll see, you'll see. We're nearing it. The reason why you don't want to kill her on the turn of Sacred Song and Rune is that she'll just revive and cast Sacred Song and Rune again, and you've just wasted your turn for no reason. You want to get her to Sacred Song and Rune, let her do her thing, you know, wail on you, and then... You activate it on Sacred Song and Rune turn number two. Turn number two referring to uh, um, her ignore defense buff going on the second turn. Okay, so I'm going to try and do as much damage as possible this turn. I should be able to get her within damage range of, you know, getting killed in the turn after. If not, I will... Wait another till the next Sacred Song and Rune cycle comes by because I do not want to risk it. Yeah, it's not gonna happen this time, guys. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're at Sacred Song and Rune. I love how I was at 50% and I had all my items and I was just like, hmm, I don't think I need to use anything. And now I'm, I've barely, <laughs> that's just how dramatically harder she gets. Okay, so Sacred Song and Rune. Mm. Ah. I believe Rush Shield still has his Angel Idol buff, I believe. But if she runes him, he'll be in big doo-doo. Uh, let me just, um, let me just look at his thing and see if he does come by with the angel idol buff uh please yes okay i'm just gonna heal with him <clears throat> as long as she does not ruin him all shall be fine see this is also why you want to be able to play around with your units 
Okay, I'm good. Because it's nice being able to do different things. Like, if I had an Altry, I had to have guarded no matter what right there. And Grodens would have died inevitably. Well, if... In my battle, she targeted Grodens all the time, so... <laughs> hate you, Maxwell. Mm -hmm. Alright, so from now... Oh, whatever. Oh my god, not this again, Crystal, no. I'm gonna save my, um... I'm gonna save Darwin Shell Super Raid Burst for the next turn. Yeah, I should be in good position to beat, um, knock her down after this, um, in her next cycle of Sacred Song. Anyway. Oh, God, no. Oh, I forgot, this is the second turn of Sacred Song and Rune. Oh, I should have used. Yeah, I'm screwed. Yeah, Melchio's dead. Oh, that was Rasheel? Oh, I thought that was Melchio. Oh, well, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I've actually survived that part right there. <laughs> nope, Melchio's dead. That was Rasheel again! Oh, look! <sighs> okay, destiny turn. Huh? Nothing. Mm, we're going... Whoa, I'm at 18%. Whoa, 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 whoa. Charge upstairs, quick! Let's go, let's go, run, 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 run. I don't want my battery to die in the middle of this battle. Let's go. Lego. Destiny turn. Oh, God. The lag between the animations are killing me. I'm gonna send my friend a text after this. He's gonna be like, Oh my God, you actually beat her. All right, all right. Okay, back in my room. Okay. All right, she decides to Destiny Graw after Dalvin Shell. What to do? What to do? What am I going to do? Alright, final Fujin Tonic. We're on turn 11. No, come on, Genesis me or something. Hit Rasheel. Come on, you know you want to hit Rasheel. Oh, whatever. Sacred Song and Rune. Who's she gonna rune? Oh, she's gonna rune Darwin Shell. He's got the weakness and injury, darn it. Just don't hit Darwin Shell, please. Well, Necros, um, Lily Matt, I mean, not Lily Matter. <laughs> Maxwell is as good as mine. Yours, I mean, yours. Yours, not mine, yours. Mine in the sense that I beat her again, but yours as in the sense that this is your account. Um, just so there's no confusion. Yeah. Alrighty, so here we shall break. We shall kill her first time. I'm actually gonna save. Um. No, I'll just you and use Darwin Shell. Mm. Mm. Your voice is very scratchy. <clears throat> Put my thing back. Don't play with that. Okay, so she's revives 100k. Oh, Genesis, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, the Maxwell. Yes. No? Not enough for Darwin Shell. Well, there's the Darwin Shell right there. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. I want to beat you already. This is a little shoot. Alright. Uh, that's actually... So from here on out, you want to attack with everybody. She, um, she has no Angel Idol buff right now. 
So I have three full turns before she casts Sacred Song and Moon again. With this team, I'm positive I should be able to beat her in two turns. But, like I did with mine too. Beat her Sacred Song Revival Loop, I mean. Yeah, she's minced meat the next turn. I'm just gonna stop counting at this point. She's done for. <laughs> Take that, Max of the Well. Good for you, put my thing away. <laughs> See, the reason why I don't want you to play with that is because I reserve the stickers so they look like they're in mint condition. Do not want you to mess it up. Alright, so Maxwell's mine. Maxwell is mine. Uh -huh. That's not your account. You're gonna go ahead and take some screenshots. That's Necros. I know, it's Necros' account. Oh yeah, I just beat Maxwell, guys. Alright, please, servers, for the love of servers. I mean, for the love of God. Be up! Oh yes! Yeah! I'm just taking so many um screenshots right now, I just want to... <laughs> What? Why can't I take a screenshot right now? Allow me to do so. What? Allow me to screenshot. Stupid phone. There. Move. There. There we go. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you watched the whole hour, good for you. Um, I'm done here. I'm gonna give him his account back real quick. Anyways, later guys.